All right, so here we are. We are in topic number two, macromolecules. So macro, whoa, we're talking about those big so carbohydrates. What, what do these do? They provide our cells uh, with really quick energy, all right? Energy that we can burn right away. Um, this is why uh, sometimes you might uh, hear about athletes. Uh, it's called carb loading. Where like before an athletic event or a game, sometimes or a race, like runners like to do this, they'll carb load, so they'll eat like a bunch of like pasta or something. So they've got quick energy in the tank to burn. Uh, so carbohydrates, quick energy. Uh, also, maybe you didn't know this, uh, it's, it's a source of dietary fiber. Uh, you, you, know, you guys are young, probably don't think about fiber that much, but you might have heard your parents saying that they need their fiber or, you know, our fiber keeps things moving in our digestive system. It helps all of our uh, processes function in a timely manner, keep it moving on. Uh, so uh, it, carbohydrates give us that fiber to keep our system moving. Okay, so now we've got a new vocabulary word, and this vocabulary word is monomer, monomer. So when I break it down, mono, uh, mono means one. Okay, that's what that root word means, mono. It is one building block or one piece. So remember, our carbohydrates, our macromolecules are big, all right? So this is a big molecule. Uh, it, that, that means that it's made up of a bunch of little molecules together to form this big molecule. Uh, and, and that's called a monomer, when we have the little molecules that are part of the big, you know, molecule that we're building. Like so the, Legos. Yes, like Legos. I like to think of it that way, um, that like here we're building something, like, like let's say we're building a tower of Legos. Each Lego block or each Lego piece is a monomer. All right. And so uh, the mon monomer for uh, carbohydrates is, there's a long word, monosaccharides. Oh, that's long. So monosaccharides are the Lego blocks that form carbohydrates. The way that I remember this, maybe this will help you, is that monosaccharides is a long word. All right? It's a long word. Uh, so is carbohydrates. So the long word building block, this is the, the, of the building blocks that we're going to learn, the monomers that we're going to learn. This is the longest one, has the most letters in it. And the macromolecule that has the, long, the most letters in it, or a longest single word, uh, is carbohydrates. So these are both long words, so remember the two long ones go together. Monosaccharides, when we put a bunch of those building blocks together, they form a carbohydrate. Uh, so what are carbohydrates made of? What are the elements involved? Uh, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, or CHO. So you might remember that, CHO, um, for carbohydrates. And we've got some yummy examples here. You guys hit tons of these. I see pasta, I see bread, uh, more pasta, corn, bananas, d delicious. Uh, carbohydrates, sounds like a fan. Well, fatty foods have a macromolecule in them called lipids. Lipids, uh, and these lipids provide cells with long-term energy. So these fats or fatty foods, it's not going to be quick energy like carbohydrates that your body burns. Instead, it's going to be energy that your body's going to be able to slowly burn uh, or store, right? <laughs> so uh, lipids, they give us that long-term energy, and then we've got a throwback. Guys, we've heard this word lipid before. Uh, they are in uh, our membranes of cells. Remember, every single cell, like no matter what it is, has a cell membrane, okay? And that cell membrane, we've got this vocabulary word, is made of phospholipids. Well, phospholipid has the word lipid in it. So we actually have heard of this macromolecule before. Uh, it's part of the word phospholipids. Phospholipids are a type of lipid. So you definitely need to have some, uh, you know, healthy fats 
in your diet because every single cell in your body is made of lipids, phospholipids. So you've got to be eating that stuff um, so that your body, your cells can maintain really healthy membranes or make new cells uh, to replace old cells, right? Okay, again, uh, we've got this uh, vocabulary word, monomer. It has that word mono in it. Mono means one. So this is one like block, like one Lego block, you might say. Um, so one building block. And the building block of lipids is called fatty acids. Uh, you might remember, I mean, it was a long time ago, when we talked about phospholipids, they have heads and tails. The tails are called fatty acid tails. Um, and they're, you know, hydrophobic and all that good stuff, which don't worry, we will review um, in the SOL review. But uh, yeah, the building block or the individual Lego pieces that make up lipids uh, are called fatty acids, fatty acids. Uh, what's it made of? What elements are involved uh, in these lipids? It's looking the same. It's CHO, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Uh, and then here we've got some examples of some delicious foods um, that have, are high in lipids or high in fat. Um, one way that might help you remember, you know, uh, those fatty acids and lipids. Uh, remember, fatty foods um, have lots of lipids in them. So maybe that will help you. Uh, make that connection. I think of the word fat lip. I, oh. you know, when I was a kid, I got a fat lip. So, good one. So Miss Moore said fat lip. Um, so the fatty acids is the first part, right? And then the lipids is the second part. And anyway, we got a lot of arrows going everywhere, but that was a great tip as well. Proteins, uh, you know, are definitely going to be that meat. As you can see here in this picture, definitely going to be beans. Uh, cheese has protein in it as well. Um, fish, uh, lots of healthy proteins, um, you know, in those foods. So remember from our last unit, everything in our body is made of proteins. Everything. All right. So. We need proteins to survive. This is a, one of those really essential uh, macromolecules, all right? So what do they do? Um, they provide cell structure. So uh, we've got a throwback here. You might remember this from cells. I'm looking at this uh, picture right here, uh, this one in the middle. So remember we talked about in cell membranes, we just focused on, oh, you know, there's those lipids. They, they're the yellow things in this picture, all right? But in the membrane, we also have proteins. Uh, you can see here in our picture, we've got two uh, proteins highlighted in this diagram. The proteins let things in and out of the cell uh, when we're doing cell transport. So then if your cell needs uh, something, for example, like glucose or a sugar to do cellular respiration, I'm really throwing it back today, right? Uh, it's got to bring it into the cell. And it has to come through a protein channel. So proteins are, are actually in uh, our membranes. Uh, they also help with chemical signaling, um, so communicating with the other cells. Uh, and then also something new, which we're going to spend all of next class talking about, uh, is chemical reactions. So proteins, a special group of proteins called enzymes, help speed up chemical reactions. And this we'll learn about on next class. All right, um, monomer, here we go again. Uh, mono means one. Uh, so this is like one building block, one Lego piece. And uh, you guys know this. Uh, we learned it in our last unit. When we string amino acids together, the amino acids are that building block. And when we get a bunch of them together, uh, you know, they fold up. That forms a protein. So this is what we learned in our last unit when we learned about protein synthesis. Maybe you remember that crazy chart, right? The, there was the circle one. Uh, there was the square version uh, of the codon chart where you had to decode which amino acid uh, was the DNA coding for. So the building block of proteins is amino acids. When we put a bunch of amino acids together, we get a protein. Okay, uh, what? are proteins made of? 
So again, we've got Cho. All right, but now we've got a new one. Nitrogen. So nitrogen is in the mix uh, for our proteins. So now our kind of little acronym to remember is CHON. So, so far we've had CHO, CHO, and now we have CHON. Okay, that's our proteins. Okay, and then last but not least, we have nucleic acids, nucleic acids. So uh, we have heard this word before. Uh, last unit, we studied, um, you know, RNA, and we studied DNA, right? Well, the NA part of both of those words stands for nucleic acid, ribonucleic acid, that's RNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. So we know about nucleic acids. Uh, so nucleic acids, uh, again, we've got DNA and RNA. I'm just trying to clear it up so I can draw some more pictures. Uh, what do we do with nucleic acids? Well, they uh, store and pass on that genetic information. These genetic traits um, get passed on to the next generation in these nucleic acids, right? And we know uh, the monomer. Remember, the mo mono means one, so this is one block uh, or one piece uh, of the molecule are nucleotides, right? We, we studied those before. Uh, remember the structure of a nucleotide? We have the little, uh, the candy house, as I like to say it. It looks kind of like a gingerbread house. This is the sugar. Um, we also have a phosphate, right? And then we have a base. Very rudimentary drawing, uh, but hopefully that helps you remember um, a nucleotide. So what is this stuff made of? Uh, again, we've got Cho. We've got nitrogen again, and we've got another, a new one, phosphorus. So uh, we've got CHOM, okay? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus are all in nucleic acids. So if we go through all of the macromolecules that we've talked about so far today, right? Carbohydrate, lipid, protein, nucleic acid, that's CHO, CHO, CHON, CHOM. So hopefully that will help you remember. Uh, if, you rem if you remember them in that order that we learned about them, that'll help you uh, remember what elements are involved. Okay, I also wanna do a quick throwback um, because, well, a huge throwback, because almost, uh, well, actually all uh, of these macromolecules are in our cells, right? They're the like macromolecules essential for life and the smallest living thing is a cell. And we've, this, this is throwback. These are all pictures that we've seen before. So check it out. In the cell membrane, we have three of the macromolecules, okay? We've got lipids. Uh, remember, those are phospholipids. So the phospholipids uh, are the little yellow circles in this diagram with the two tails, the fatty acid tails. So in our cell membrane, we've got phospholipids. They're a type of lipid. We also have carbohydrates. What? Yeah, you'll see uh, stuck to some of these proteins, there are these carbohydrate chains. So we got another uh, macromolecule in there. Uh, in the cell membrane, we have carbohydrates. So you do need carbohydrates not only to stay energized, like literally your cells need them uh, for their cell membranes. And then uh, last one in the cell membrane is those proteins that I showed you a little earlier. So protein channels and also proteins that are stuck in the membrane. Uh, these are all really important parts uh, of every living thing. Okay, and then the last macromolecule that we're talking about today, you know, trying to put it in context, uh, is nucleic acids. So that DNA, that RNA, right? Uh, and those are all found in the cell. And if it's a eukaryote, remember eukaryotes do, you do have a nucleus, uh, this DNA is, is going to be uh, in that nucleus, right? When we wind it up, remember it forms a chromosome. Uh, and again, the chromosomes are in the nucleus of the cell uh, of eukaryotes.